hello there welcome to fermi cg today i am going to show you what artificial intelligence can do with your doodles so i just make some doodles here and the nvidia artificial intelligent program called gaugan or maybe gaugan beta turned that scribbles into something like this so isn't that cool what the artificial intelligent program is creating something artistically good but i don't think it's that much good but if you if you are not an artist and trying to get something artistic this can be a challenging one so there are a couple of styles we can check so this i will show you how this changes actually the left one is the actual painting I made, something like uh, what we learned in the my MS Paint tool, and that can be changed into something much realistic. And so these are some filters uh, available. It will change how the look of your painting is going to be. So you can see some kind of dark, and depending on how you paint these kind of st strokes, it will give you some good result so just think it like a simple painting program not for um, any professional research just for fun okay let's start with you have to go to nvidia research and mine yulu or something i will put that link in there so you can get this window and can be opened in any operating system is just browser based program so you have to create something so i am going to reset this one so i'm going to click you will get something similar or not similar window you have to paint something before that you have to just click on the checkbox you can upload the image if you want you you can create something in the paint ms paint and you can upload that and you can make this kind of um landscape images so i don't check that much so just simply uh, clicking this button will make something so this will be the sea and this is the sky so they give a lot of options here so you can start with anything but i will start with the ground and maybe landscape so we already have sky here we will just create some cloud so we will start with the brush tool and there is a brush shape here that will show you which kind of color you are going to use and which shape and which size i'm going to use very small size with the round brush just make a stroke here and just press the button the arrow button here so it is going to create some cloud maybe make some shapey cloud it is not going to be exact the same size but it will randomly arranged where your stroke is so i'm going to make it a little bit and see what happens so this is very good example so we can make one time read only so that leave this kind of thing so you you can click that and use um, a sky and you can replace see or maybe something like so it will replace and uh, we will start with a mountain we'll use the brush tool some strokey mountain maybe something creepy and we will fill with the paint bucket sorry we will undo that same goes for the paint you need to fill this area use this okay now this is going to create some mountain here so you can see it's not that much cool but we can make more interesting features so we can use this paint to again make some sort of elements here we will randomly paint something will paint and again use this so it will fix that area so you can see 
lot of areas are little bit we use the hill we can now fix with stone or rock and we, we we need to fix this area so you can change that and maybe paint like this see what's happening so it's all based on the mask so you have to make sure you paint whatever area you want with that mask so that will fix those area and this area also okay I'm just going to randomly to fix those areas so maybe here a little bit and all these areas also we will fix this area so it look something like this so we created something so you can see it looks weird i know but we can just experiment with that and we already click the mountain hill rock we can fix with stone and what we you, you can experiment with the size and uh, the brush uh, shape value so see what's going on you can see it will blend blend those shape together and make some arrangements so that is how we are going to create you can put snow if you want see what's going on there by putting the stop but it's not perfect see that going to make some weird result so we'll use the rock again here fix that area and we already used this we will use a ground plane here we'll use this to sorry we'll use this this region we will use as a hand maybe like this oh, let's see what's happening see now we get some seashore and some kind of effect so this is a sandy region we can create some mud here if you want reduce see now if you want some kind of a dart here a little bit okay that's cool maybe here also now we can create some plant so upon my experiment never go for this one wood it caused some problem i don't know if it's on my system but whenever i click this one and paint something in this system goes on error and supported a mask or some blah 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 so i'm going to use bush george bush or some random bush okay so that creates some some area here we can create some flower if you want to just bring maybe here so it all blend see now it gets weird so the so artificial intelligence get some sort of error so we are going we are not going to use that we can put that by bush also okay that cool and we can use grass here and see what's happening um, okay but i like the old one okay that's cool and use some straw and maybe here and we will use some grass on this rock region hmm, that's good we can make this 
also here up to here so all this based on how you blend the scene so you can see now the scene is already changed a lot and maybe we can blend here also but always remember that you cannot make undo for more than one time so it's have some problems there maybe they are building that and tree so make sure making tree is a little bit difficult because you have to blend the scene together so we cannot make a tree here because it is close to the camera if you make tree here uh, all will be shrunk down so we are going to make a tree in this region and let's see how that's going on as you can see now we get some tree here i'm so they, they, they are changing according to how you mix the scene so i think pretty good you can mix something also hmm see now we get some some good result we can use some bush here all extra bush here and we will use some rock here also i like the old one we will use the where the rock we can use the stone here so some artistic look Game. so that's good that's very very good we can use some grass over there maybe around this region mm, little like this painted here some sort of okay and let's see mm, not much not much not much good We'll undo definitely undo that and see. So it's painted that material, so I don't like that. So I'm going to use the same rock music stone. Going to use cover that material. See it's because it's blend together those areas, so that is why it's happening. So it's cool and i will show you some cool trick tip how to make some fog if you make some fog like this you can get some weird result so as you can see this kind of change everything so you have to make sure you paint a little bit fog if you paint too much fog this is gonna be a problem so you can see Okay, so this is how you paint uh, your scene with some uh, some kind of see now you can mix different settings and uh, so the fog will come like this uh, if you like the scene you can keep but I definitely not like this so you have to adjust your scene paint and each stroke just make sure you click this button and check if everything is coming right as expected so now the folk created some sort of problems here and we can make that by using um, the ground and maybe we can use the sand again we will fill that area also and see if it is all right the settings okay that's good we can use some more dirt here and maybe some mud here also okay enough so i'm going to stick with this settings and we will check so this is the you can randomly select this is the image uh, so we created some some sort of image here this look good and this so you can check so definitely this is the settings we created i think it creates some for cloud also so we can use some clouds there small clouds so don't make a definite shape just stroke there so it will create some maybe thicker cloud okay 
okay that's good now we can experiment with the different uh, <coughs> artistic filters i think you can check uh, with your own creativity and experiment with this this is just a cool thing i uh, learned just by checking the website i was looking for something and i found this very good one and i think you have something in mind by just creating but it's just a fun thing you can make it's not definitely not in production ready so you can just experiment and make some cool drawings or cool paintings and you can download that uh, you are from your scribbling uh, to the file image so i'm going to download this one save file input and this is going to be the output so you can use this and make cool paintings with uh, your doodle or whatever you call the scribble whatever you call just use the ms paint kind of painting and turn it to something cool and realistic thank you for watching from ecg